I come from a glacier country, and I come from Norway. I, I come from, you know, mountains and, and snow and ice. The mountains around the Tibetan plateau hold more ice than any other place on the planet except the North and South Pole. Now this ice is melting faster than any other ice on the planet. And the Tibetan plateau is essentially the source point of all of Asia's major rivers. People downstream these rivers number in, in over a billion. I wanted to both look at the immediate effects up in the highlands, but also see, you know, how, how does that connect with people living 500 miles downstream? I felt very much when I was among these people, Tibetan nomads, that in a way I was seeing the last chapter in their long story, essentially because the pasture lands are disappearing due to climate change. In cities like Delhi, India, you're already seeing desperate water shortages. These people, their day can start at 3.30 in the morning to get in line to wait for water. Here we're in Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. I woke up one morning, I get out of my hotel door and I step into half a meter of water. The entire city had flooded. So I, I, I sort of basically halfway walked, halfway swam around the city, trying to get images of you know people sort of dealing with their city being flooded. This is people in Bangladesh uh, trying to shore up an eroding embankment. Stories to do with the environment are often tricky because they can be very hard to visualize changes happening, you might not see them from one week to the next, but it's something that will have a great impact of, of several billion people. So it's a great challenge, but nonetheless, I think it's very important that we use photography to talk about these issues. <laughs>